Amazon CEO and space entrepreneur Jeff Bezos is celebrating an historic achievement. He says his rocket company, Blue Origin, successfully flew a, miss a vehicle into space and then made a control landing back at the launch site. His new Shepard becomes the world's first fully reusable rocket. Bezos calls that accomplishment a game changer. He joins us now from the launch site in West Texas. Jeff, good morning. Good morning, guys. How are you? We begin with this. Why is this a game changer? Well, you know, Charlie, uh, you've seen a lot of rockets take off in your time, but you've never seen one land. And all the rockets that we've ever flown as a, as a civilization have been expendable. We use them one time and we throw them away. The rocket you're seeing behind me is completely reusable. That's a game changer because it changes the cost structure of space travel completely. And does it uh, throwing rockets away is like getting in your 747 and <laughs> you know flying across the country and then throwing the 747 away. You only use it one time. So does that add velocity to when we'll all be traveling in space? Yes, uh, you know, our uh, long-term vision at Blue Origin is millions of people living and working in space and helping, you know, continue to explore the solar system. So that's really what we're working on, Charlie, and uh, reusability is a total game changer for that. So where does Blue Origin stand right now, Jeff? Well, we, we just uh, successfully uh, flew this vehicle and returned it uh, to the launch site for the first time. And for the next couple of years, we're going to continue with a very methodical test program. Uh, the good thing about, one of the good things about this vehicle is it can fly autonomously. It's kind of a flying robot. It can fly itself up into space, bring itself back down and land. So we don't have to put pilots at risk during the test program. And then uh, once we're completely confident in the vehicle, we'll start taking people up into space. How much do you estimate it will cost for a ride? We don't know yet. Uh, it's gonna, uh, it, 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 we have to wait another year or so before we're ready to set the price. Uh, for people who are interested in that, they can go to the Blue Origin website and sign up, and w as soon as we have ticket information, no. we'll email them. Uh, are you going to sign up? I'm going to, I can't wait to go, Charlie. <laughs> Any of you want to come with me, you're invited. I, guys, you heard that. I can go with him. <laughs> yes. I, I'm there. I'm with you. I'll yeah, go. Char Charlie wants to go with you. <laughs> Jeff, where does your passion for this come from? Listen, you've, you've changed the game in the online retail business. You're in the drone business. Where does your passion now for tackling space come from? You know, when I was five years old, I watched Neil Armstrong step onto the surface of the moon and I don't know, I, I, it just instilled a huge passion in me for engineering and science and exploration. And uh, I've been uh, kind of uh, uh, crazy about rockets since I was a little boy. Uh, you don't choose your passions, your passions choose you. And uh, this is just in me. Got it. Oh, and another question, Amazon looking for a big Christmas? This is going to be a record holiday, uh, Charlie. Uh, uh, we're, our fulfillment centers are full to the brim with all kinds of things for the holiday, and uh, we've our, we've never been faster at delivering or more reliable. We've been getting better every year, and we're really we're ready and we're excited. I want to ask you about that New York Times piece earlier this year about Amazon that painted the culture as pretty harsh on employees. I think one of the quotes was it was a bruising workforce. How did that change things inside the company? And have people emailed you directly as you asked them to do in a memo? Yeah, I did. I got, I got some emails and most of them were from people saying that's not my experience. You know, the thing is you can't have a corporate culture that's like the one described there and then do the things that Amazon does. The kind of innovation and invention, the things we do, it requires not just people to show up at work, to, to be deeply engaged in the mission. They have to love what they're doing. Uh, and you know, we're just, we're full of inventors and, and people who uh, like serving customers. And it, it, you know, I tap dance into work every day and I work <laughs> with a lot of people like that too. Uh, the Washington Post, you now own the Washington Post. Uh, can you tell us where you are taking it and, and what's happening there? Well, you know, we're, we're, what we're doing with the Post is uh, we're working on becoming the uh, new 
paper of record, Charlie. We've always been a local paper. And just this month, uh, the Washington Post passed the New York Times in terms of uh, number of uh, viewers online. This is a gigantic accomplishment for the Post team. And so uh, we, you know, we're just going to keep after that. The reason that that's working is because we have such a talented team at the Post. It's all about quality journalism. And even here in the Internet age in the 21st century, people really care about quality journalism. So define what you think The Washington Post is today. Well, the Washington Post today is, you know, a, a, a bright light that uh, helps uh, shine light on all of our uh, institutions in this country and the political process. You know, we, we know uh, that some of the things that have happened in the past, uh, are, you know, we wish we had known more about uh, our political leaders and our other powerful institutions in this country. Mm -hmm. And that's been the role of the Post for a long time. And we're just going to keep doing that. And we're doing it now with more resources. And we have a lot of patience for that job. We're just going to keep working at it and make sure that that institution uh, stays strong so that it can uh, shine a light on all on all of these important uh, uh, players, in the, especially in Washington. I'm, I'm glad. I are. can't wait to see you and Charlie in space, Jeff. I'll be down <laughs> on ground cheering you guys on. When is that going to happen? Oh, I look forward to it. Yeah, when I is think it gonna Charlie happen? is going to be fantastic. When he, he's going to be very weightless. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> yeah. He's right. an excellent co-pilot. We can yes. attest to that. We yes. notice, notice it every day. Jeff Bezos, con <laughs> <laughs> congratulations. and. Great words about journalism and investing in journalism. Thank you so much.